Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So, one of the main things that made ARK Invest able to predicting Tesla hitting profitability, while other institutional investors or automotive analysts were out saying Tesla was structurally unprofitable. Remember, people like Gordon Johnson or Mark Spiegel, Jim Janus, or even Bob Loss were all out saying Tesla would never be profitable. But ARK Invest went against them all and ended up being the one being right. And one of the tools they use to predict this is something I think many are still forgetting, and why Tesla's price cut will not hurt Tesla's gross margin as much as many think, and Tesla will be able to continue to cut prices for the rest of this decade and still have world-leading gross margins, and why I think many institutional investors are going to be surprised with Q1 earnings coming up, as they are not using this tool, and therefore will be way off, like Gordon Johnson, who thinks the Tesla's cross profits will collapse because of these price cuts. But let me show you why that will probably not be the case, and remind everyone about this tool they are all missing. And let's dive right in. So, the tool ARK Invest has been using for many years now to predict many innovative and new technologies and the road to profitability is Wright's Law. That says, for every cumulative doubling of units produced, cost will fall by a constant percentage. And it is important to understand it is not about just growing your profit year over year, it is the cumulative production units of this product that matters when we are talking about Wright's Law. It is of course not a law of nature, but the best hypothesis to predict the future cost of a product. Just as a Santa Fe Institute showed back in 2012, where they tested the ability of six different postulated laws to predict future cost, and used them on 62 different technologies from various industries. And they found that Wright's law was the most accurate, even better than the more known Moore's Law. And this rights law was what ARK Invest used to help guide them to Tesla's future profitability. While the rest of the investment industry thought Tesla would never be profitable because they were structurally unprofitable. But Tesla did become profitable and is today actually more profitable on the bottom line than both Ford and GM. So boy did the automotive analyst get this one wrong. But ARK Invest got it right, thanks to Wright's Law, that showed them that Tesla would become profitable if they could hit the production target they said they would. As Elon said back in 2014, they hoped to hit 500,000 units in 2020. Many thought that was impossible, and Mark B.S. even called it absurd. But that was exactly what Tesla did. And using Wright's Law, ARK Invest could see that Tesla would be able to become profitable with these production increases. Just as we saw with the traditional car industry, ARK Invest used Wright's Law on the traditional automotive industry and found that the automotive industry saw a 15% reduction in cost for every cumulative doubling. But now there have been over 2.5 billion cars made cumulatively. So even if the auto industry could produce and sell 70 million ICE cars per year going forward, it would take about 35 years to make a cumulated doubling of the fleet. So that is why even if we continue to produce and sell ICE cars, they will not really drop a lot in price for many, many years years, because it simply takes too long to get to the next cumulative doubling. But for EVs that has just got started, this will happen quickly. And ARK Invest thought that the EVs would have the same kind of reduction in price as we saw with the ICE industry, as electric cars 
is a brand new technology, even though many institutional investors thought building an EV was the same thing as building an ICE car. So nothing to gain here. But as we have seen through the last five years especially, the big boys are having huge trouble scaling up production of EVs because this is a complicated and completely new technology. Like GM that was only able to deliver 854 Hummer EVs even though they had a full year of production and tens of thousands of pre-orders so they are not missing the demand, only the capabilities to produce EVs. These, even though they have over a hundred years of experience in making ice cars. So it is a brand new technology that needs to come down in price with rights law, just as ice cars did over the last 100 years. And that is why Ark Invest, as some of the very few institutional investors were able to predict Tesla to have a cross margin of about 28% in 2020, give or take 8%. As Ark said back in 2019, through the second quarter of 2019, Tesla had manufactured just over 275,000 Model 3s since its launch. According to Wright's law, the cost to produce the Model 3 should drop by roughly 23% as it scales to an additional 600,000 cars, which, according to their analyst, should occur by the end of 2020, which Tesla would have done if it had not been for the pandemic and the lockdown in China. And the percentage increase margin, well, that was exactly what happened. Tesla averaged a 25% in cross margin in 2020, but did have a cross margin of 27.7% in Q3 of 2020, but did end the year off. And when Tesla would get over 1.2 million in cumulative production, we should see a 15% decrease in production cost for Tesla again. So Ark was already talking about rights law back in 2019, but no one listened to them, probably because they have never heard of rights law and therefore didn't think anything of it. This is one of the things many institutional investors just don't count into their predictions, just as we see Gordon Johnson that thinks that Tesla's cross margin will drop out of the sky because of Tesla's price cuts, not understanding that reducing the price for Tesla's cars, getting to a bigger addressable market will speed up Tesla's cumulative doubling of its production and that will reduce the cost for Tesla to produce their cars by approximately 15%. And here in 2023, Tesla did hit a cumulative doubling compared to 2021, where they hit 2 million and Tesla has just hit 4 million. So Tesla's cost compared to 2021 numbers should have dropped by 15%. So even though Tesla cut prices of the cars by 15% compared to the prices of the car in 2021, Tesla's cross margin should stay the same. And this lines up very well with what Tesla also showed at Investor Day, that they have been able to cut the cost of making the Model 3 over the past four years since 2018 by 30%. This lines up perfectly with Wright's law, as Tesla had two cumulative doublings since then, so two times 15%. So I think many institutional investors will get a big surprise this year, as Tesla automotive cross margin will stay above 20%, which not many are expecting. As Tesla continues to climb the cumulative production tree, while the material cost is also coming down again. And on top of all of this Wright's law and economy of scale, Tesla showed off at Investor Day how they have found a way to cut production cost in half and also make the production footprint half the size, meaning that big factory they will be building very soon in Mexico will probably have a production capacity of somewhere between 3 to 4 million, if not even more. And remember, Tesla just hit 4 million cumulative production in March of this year, so when that factory is up and running, it will all on its own, be able to make a cumulative doubling of Tesla's production from March 2023. But Tesla is not only building this one factory, they are also ramping up production in the Berlin factory and the Texas factory as we speak, and will build another factory at the same time as the one in Mexico, as Tom Sue pointed out. So not hard to believe that with a 50% growth 
over the next couple of years that Tesla will already have made a cumulative doubling of their March 2023 numbers of 4 million to 8 million already doing 2024 reducing the cost another 15% on top of the benefits of their fourth generation platform that will come out of Mexico. And then by 2026 has made another cumulative doubling again, reducing their cost by another 15%. So when the next generation car already starts hitting volume production in 2026, Tesla will at the same time have reduced their cost twice with 15%. So is a $25,000 with high profits possible for Tesla? <laughs> it's not just possible, it is inevitable. And Tesla's first mover advantage is not just that they are in people's mind as the best EV. No, this rights law is also helping them out with the cost of their EVs compared to the others that is nowhere near Tesla's cumulative volume. So can Volkswagen in 2025 make a $25,000 profitable EV on the MEB platform? Well, I would say it's highly unlikely. They are nowhere near Tesla's cumulative production of EVs and are still on their first EV platform, while Tesla has a much bigger EV fleet and are on their fourth generation platform that is much cheaper to produce all by itself no way Volkswagen is able to compete with Tesla on price and profits by 2026 but price will of course come down for everyone over time Tesla will just do it faster as they have a big head start and are innovating in manufacturing like no one else has done in more than a hundred years but if we look at the overall plug-in market with rights law in mind, yes, I know plug-in includes hybrids, but as you can see, they are slowly losing market share to BEVs and will in the end be all gone. But they will all be stealing market share from the pure ice cars. Well, we have had more than two cumulative doubling in the plug-in fleet in just the last four years, and we will see another cumulative doubling in 2023 compared to 2021. So if you look at this little chart I have made about what has happened since 2015 and speculate about what will happen for the rest of this decade, you can see that we have had a cumulative doubling every two years since 2015. Actually a bit faster, as you can see from 2019 to 2021 it was a doubling and 3 million more and this cumulative doubling looks to continue every two years for the next four years but as you can see by 2030 we are above 400 million plug-in vehicles in the fleet but even if I'm off by 20 million we are still looking at about 400 million vehicles compared to about 40 million vehicles here in 2023 at 10x from where we are today. So if we look from 2021 and predict how many cumulative doubling we will have before this decade is over, we are talking about four. So four times from 2021, we will see about a 15% drop in cost for the auto industry to produce an electric vehicle. So for someone like Stellantis to come out and say they can never make a profit on selling EVs, the cost of making EVs is more than what the auto industry can handle. Or the German finance minister Christian Lindner saying that the Euro 7 ban of ice cars in 2035 is ignoring the increasing cost cost of electric cars. This is just stupid. As we will probably see the cost of making EVs come down by 15% four times during the next seven years. EVs will be much cheaper than ICE cars very soon. But it seems like people like Christian or groups like Stellantis and many others have forgotten about Rice Law. But Tesla is, of course, as we all know, way ahead when it comes to producing cars with profits. The old guys can't even make the same kind of profit margins on their ICE cars as Tesla has on their EVs. So they will have to accelerate faster than what Tesla does to ever have any chance of keeping up. But Tesla is the one pulling further away. It took Tesla 12 years to get to the first million cumulative produced car, but only 7 months to make the last million. Tesla hit the first millionth car produced on the 10th of March 2020, 
So only three years ago. So just in the last three years, Tesla has made two cumulative doubling. They hit 1 million in 2020, 2 million in 2021, that was one doubling, and then 3 million in 2022, and 4 million in March 2023, that was the second doubling. This is what I don't think many analysts like Gordon Johnson are taking into account when he's out screaming about Tesla's cross Martin is going to drop out of the sky, as Tesla has probably just caught their their cost of producing an EV by 15%. So we will see after Q1 here and going forward if Tesla's cross margin will ever drop below 20%. My bet is that it won't. But we will find out very soon. And if Gordon is wrong again, he will probably just blame his mess with we can't trust Tesla's finance, Elon is a fraud. But the billions of dollars they have in free cash flow, or the billions of dollars sitting on their bank account, or hitting the bottom line in net income, must come from somewhere, Gordon. But we will see, because 2023 could become a very good year for Tesla, heading for new sales record. At the same time, full self-driving beta is going out to wide release, so more people can buy that, and Megapack is ramping up to new highs, and Tesla hitting another cumulative doubling here in 2023, from their 2 million in 2021, helping Tesla in the cost of producing the cars. I think by the end of this year, we will no longer be talking about Tesla's margins and financials because they will be so good. There is just no denying it anymore. Tesla is and will continue to dominate the EV market. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>